Today, I'm going to show you ways Cloudflare protects your applications and users from risks, such as data loss and phishing. We'll be using a SaaS version of Jira in this demo. Cloudflare integrates with your existing identity providers and allows administrators to control who can access their internal and SaaS applications. We're using Okta as our identity provider. Cloudflare allows administrators to control how data is accessed and used within their applications. For example, we can create role-based access controls through conditional policies that prevent users from accessing certain parts of our site, such as an admin area, or from performing certain actions, such as attempting to delete things. We can also restrict the upload or download of specific file types. And we can disable certain features, such as copy-paste and other right-click functionality. The features we just demonstrated were shown while using a remote browser isolation environment running on Cloudflare's Global Edge network. Remote browsers help protect our applications from malware or malicious browser extensions on end-user devices. They also protect end-users from web-based threats such as malware, including previously unknown and even zero-day threats. We can control access to our applications by setting access rules choosing which users or groups of users are allowed to access a specific application. Within our rules, we can require multi-factor authentication or specifically a hard key, which many identity providers cannot enforce, but Cloudflare can. We can also require users to have a secure encrypted connection to Cloudflare using the team's client. Our gateway policies can be used to control navigation and actions within our application and to decide which applications and sites are opened in a remote browser instance. They can also be configured to protect end users from a wide range of security threats, including phishing, malware, and newly established sites that may not yet be identified as a security threat. If one of our employees accidentally clicks on a link in a phishing email, Cloudflare will identify and block the site from loading. If a user's credentials are compromised, an attacker would still need to configure the team's client, connect it to your organization, and pass the specific type of multi-factor authentication you've required. The stolen credentials simply wouldn't be enough to gain access to your applications. Any attempt to access the application would show up in your access logs, where you could identify information about the user to look for indicators of compromise. Similarly, you can look at the gateway logs to see granular details about requests being made from a specific user. If you believe a user's credentials or account has been compromised, you can revoke access for that user across all of your applications with a single click. I really hope you enjoyed this demonstration about how Cloudflare protects your applications and users from threats such as data loss and phishing. If you want to learn more, Go to cloudflare.com slash teams.